चार बिंदु में आनंद मोटी दंड अर्पण अर्पण करता हूँ श्री स्वामी शिष्य उत्पत्ति महाराज नाम विष्णु संत श्री अनिरुद्ध दास प्रभु जी समस्त वैष्णव वैष्णव के चरण में तक दंड प्रणाम सो आई थैंक ऑल ऑफ यू फॉर ज्वाइनिंग दिस क्लास ऑल द डिवोटीज फ्रॉम ऑल ओवर द वर्ल्ड ज्वाइन आई वेलकम यू टू दिस क्लास ऑनलाइन क्लास ऑन श्री माधुरी कादम्बिनी आई एम फाइंडिंग इट डिफिकल्ट टू कीप ट्रैक वेयर आई लेफ्ट लास्ट टाइम Uh, hey Krishna yeah. Maharaj, Dhanavat Prams. It's Sri Chaitanya Charita Lila Amrita. Um, chapter two, you said. Chapter two, huh? Yes, today is oh, Friday, uh, Maharaj. <laughs> so today we are discussing Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Yes, Maharaj. Friday oh. today. <clears throat> Friday, Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Okay. Yeah. So today is actually chapter two of Chaitanya Charita Amrita. Okay. All right. So um, today is the appearance day of Sri La Brindavanda Thakur, and uh, I'm very happy that uh, such a great personality who appeared in Kaliyuga. He is actually the Vyas of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's pastime, and uh, but uh, Bhakti Dan Dandi Maharaj has so much respect for Brindavanda Thakur actually, uh, and uh, such a great devotee, uh, Brindavanda. Thakur, without his mercy, would not know many pastimes of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And he was actually uh, his mother's name was uh, Narayani. Uh, she was the niece of Shivas Pandit. One time, <clears throat> so many Muslim rulers were giving hard time to the devotees, and they used to have nice kirtan all day, all night in the house of Shivas Pandit. But they were afraid that. Muslims may attack. So Mahaprabhu told them, "Don't worry. I am the supreme personality of Godhead. I will protect you from the Muslim attack in region." But they still were very afraid. So that time Mahaprabhu told Narayani, that small girl, "Hey Narayani, you should immediately chant Krishna Krishna and cry in separation of Krishna." And immediately by the words of Mahaprabhu. Uh, she developed the prema and she began to weep and cry huh? so you see that uh, this is the power of mahaprabhu's words so narayani got prema by the mercy of uh, she chaitanya mahaprabhu and brindavan uh, thakur always identified with his mother generally people mention their father's name when they give their identity but brindavan thakur mentioned that my mother is narayani i am narayani suta so and also he mentioned the name of his grandfather's brother but he didn't mention the name of his own grandfather because his grandfather was not a devotee understand so he had nothing to do with the non devotees and he started glorifying nityananda prabhu so much that um, that he didn't want to make the book too bulky so he did not describe the sanyas pastimes of chaitanya mahaprabhu which chaitanya charitamrut Writer, she author, she Krishna Skabiraj Goswami very beautifully, wonderfully described the sweet pastimes of Jagannath Mahaprabhu. But uh, the original Vyasa uh, is actually our um, Shivrindavan Das Thakur. So we offer millions of obeisances at the lotus feet of Shivrindavan Das Thakur. He was born in actually his father left the world much early. she was raised by his mother and mother's relatives like uh, his maternal grandfather and grandmother apparently so therefore he has mentioned the name of his uh, maternal grandfather you know and uh, he was raised there actually his father passed away very early but he didn't so much mention his father's name also because he, apparently he was not such a great devotee as his mother huh? so we should always try to identify with those relatives who are devotees huh? And ignore those who are not devotees. Uh, so we are reading now the second chapter of Chaitanya Charita Amrut. Um, uh, <clears throat> I'll read the summary by Shri Bhakti Dan Swami Maharaj. This chapter explains Lord Chaitanya is the supreme personality of God and Krishna Himself. Therefore, the Brahman effulgence is the bodily lustre of Lord Chaitanya, and the localized super soul situated in the heart of every living entity is this. partial representation uh, so here it is told that um, 
Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has very wonderful bodily luster and that is called Brahma Jyoti. Understand? And that is actually the first step in spiritual realization. People realize Brahma Jyoti. But those who are more advanced students of spirituality, they realize the localized supernal soul who is present in the heart of all the living entities. Understand? But that localized super soul is a partial manifestation of Bhagavan. And the Purushavatars are also explained in this connection. Mahavishnu is the reservoir of all conditioned souls. But as confirmed in the authoritative scriptures, Lord Krishna is the ultimate fountainhead, the source of numerous nethery expansions, including Narayan, who is generally accepted by Mayavadi philosophers to be the absolute truth. Understand? So Mayavadi is. They think that the absolute truth is Narayan, but Nara, Lord Krishna is the fountainhead, the source of even Narayan and all the expansions. Ite Chamsha Kala Pumsam Krishna's to Bhagavan Swayam. The Lord's manifestation of Prabhu and Vaibhav expansions, as well as partial incarnations and incarnations with delegated powers, are also explained. Third, Krishna's ages of boyhood, youth are discussed, and it is explained that. His age at the beginning of youth is his eternal form. So, Sham Eva Param Rupam Puri Madhu Puri Vara Vayam Keshoragam Deyam Har Deva Paro Rasa. Understand? So, his age at the beginning of youth is his eternal form. It is spelled like that. Huh? His Kaishwara Vaya. Kaishwara Vaya. Huh? The spiritual sky contains innumerable spiritual planets, the Vaikuntas, which are manifestations of the Supreme Lord's uh, internal energy. Understand? So you see that there is no, <laughs> no people don't know about these innumerable spiritual planets. Uh, and this, uh, <laughs> I was seeing the Elon Musk is sending the space shuttles, <laughs> and so much curiosity is there. What is in the space? Understand? But uh, Musk can never imagine going to Vaikuntha planet in his spacecraft. Understand? <laughs> so, that for that you have to do bhakti. So, the Gurudev says that, Prabhupada also said that, you know, the transgender spaceman Narad Muni can go to any planet wherever he likes. He can travel at the speed of mind. Understand? There, <clears throat> no spacecraft can go there. Understand? So, innumerable material universes are similarly exhibited by his external energy. Now, <clears throat> uh, there are so many material universes. Uh, material universes, there are actually so many of them. Uh, there is no limit how many material universes are there in this world. Uh, uh, there is one particular tree uh, in Chetra Charitamra is described. It's called Hatti Geda. Hatti Geda is like but Dandi Maharaj's mother tongue, Kannada language. But in Maharashtra, Marathi, they say Umbar or Udumbar. Uh, it's a very actually uh, typical tree. Uh, it, it grows fruit from like everywhere. It's like from the almost to the root to the top. Everywhere the fruit are growing in that tree. And um, so that many, those many universes are there, basically. Uh, there are so many universes. There is no limit how many universes are there. Uh, in your river, uh, and, uh, but that is actually Krishna's Ekapad Vibhuti. One fourth of his uh, power. Uh, but uh, spiritual world is Tripad Vibhuti. Uh, three fourth of the creation as they say like that. Uh, so... Um, there is no limit how many universes are there. Huh? No limit how many universes are there. And, <clears throat> but they are manifest from Krishna's external energy, Bhairanga Shakti. And the living entities are manifested by its marginal potency. Marginal potency means the potency between the line of demarcation between the material world and the spiritual world. Huh? So we are coming from that marginal potency. Where the material world, spiritual world ends and material world begins. We are neither we are neither from the spiritual world nor from the material world. But we come from the marginal potency, no man's land. But now we are aspiring to go to the spiritual world. We unfortunately we came to the wrong direction and we came to the material world. Uh, 
But now we want to rectify that mistake and we are taking assistance of our Guru Varga, Shila Guru Dev Shipadendi Maharaj and Vaishnavas, that trying to get back to the uh, spiritual world. Uh, understand? Like <laughs> you are on a highway and you are going in the wrong direction. Then you realize you are going far away from your destination. So what you do? You take a U turn. <laughs> Uh, you have to be careful in American highways, so fast. So now we are taking a U-turn <laughs> and going to Vaikuntha planet, understand? We were traveling in the wrong direction all along. <laughs> all along we are traveling long direction. One time Shiva Dandi Maharaj told me that, you know, once they came to Badger Festival from the east coast of America to the west coast, they were traveling. Maharaj was in D.C., Washington, D.C. Then they had a car, old car. Maharaj was driving sometimes, sometimes other devotees were traveling, American devotees, you know. And Maharaj said, sometimes long, long, imagine we are driving like 2,000 kilometers. You know, so Maharaj said, sometimes I used to fall almost asleep, you know. Because it, <laughs> cars are on auto cruise, you know. <laughs> so tough. So anyways... But to see Gurudev, it was worth it. Now, the fourth June is Srila Gurudev's Vyasa Puja, Shiva Dandi Maharaj. So, Tirupati also, we are all going, and many devotees will come from South India. Uh, so, it's a very auspicious occasion. So, what I'm trying to say is that we have to now change our direction. We have to uh, come out of Maya, this kingdom of Maya, where no one is happy, and we have to. And you have to really surrender to the lotus feet of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Understand? Uh, it's a, this is like a prison house. Uh, it's like a material world is like a prison house. Uh, so because Lord Krishna Chaitanya is not different from Lord Krishna, he is the cause of all causes. Now actually, the ontological position of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu discussed in this particular chapter also applies to Krishna. Understand? Both are the same. So, you can say that, yes, Brahma Jyoti is Krishna's bodily functions, or you can say it is the bodily functions of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. One and the same thing, doesn't matter. And Krishna is the localized super soul of all living entities, Paramatma, or you can say Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the super soul. A super soul is plenary manifestation. Understand? And he is the cause of all causes, Sarva Karana Karana. Understand? And there is no cause behind it. This is like literal translation of uh, Brahma Samhita. Ishvara Parama Krishna Sachid Ananda Vigraha Anadi Radhid Govinda Sarva Karana Karana. Like a lot of children are coming. Now there are summer holidays in India. Many children come to temple. They show so much interest in Tirupati temple. And I see them and immediately I tell them, make them utter these words. Ishvara Parama Krishna Sachid Ananda Vigraha Anadir Adir Govinda, Sarva Karana Karanam. Krishna is the cause of all causes. Understand? This is the basis. This is actually such a wonderful book, Brahma Samhita. Hmm. Lot of people accuse Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Huh? They say that, oh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu wrote Brahma Samhita and now he's passing his, uh, his Brahma's poetry. Not like that. People accuse anything. You know? People accuse so many times. They accuse Bhaktino Thakur also. They say that, oh, but you know, Thakur wrote the Prem Vivarta and now he is attributing it to Jagadananda Pandit. Uh, no, not like that. Uh, because uh, Gaudiya's preaching is so much supported by Prem Vivarta, which is written by Jagadananda Pandit. Huh? Like yesterday was Ekadashi and uh, this Puri is Jagadananda Pandit. You know, they don't want to follow Ekadashi. And they say that we have tied up Ekadashi's feet by the rope and we are tied her upside down. And, you know, we don't want to follow Ekadashi, we can take cigarettes and we can eat pan and we can take as many grains as we like, Mahaprasad of Jagannath and we just say Jagannath, Jai Jagannath, uh, we have, uh, we don't have to follow Ekadashi. But Mahaprabhu apparently was given Mahaprasad on Ekadashi and he simply did pranam to that prasadam but did not eat it and next day he read it. So this is all explained in Premi Vivarta by Jagannath Pandit and it is, this type of preaching is so much favorable for Gaudiya Math. So, Premi Varth is such a favorable to Gaudiya Math. So, that's why many people they started uh, accusing Bhaktivinoda Thakur that he wrote this book and he is now passing it, uh, passing it off as 
Jagananda Pandit book. But that is not true. That is actually Jagananda Pandit book. Bhakti not Thakur cannot lie. He is a very great devotee. Understand? So, <clears throat> Krishna is the cause of all causes. Lord Chaitanya is directly the Supreme Lord Krishna as the evidence of authoritative scripture proves. Like when Srila Bhakti Pragya and Krishna Goswami Maharaj went to preach in Assam. Now, preaching is never easy. Understand? Preaching in India is also not easy. And there they claim that there is one God called Hankar Dev. They say we accept Lord Hankar Dev, not Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Um, then Srila Bhakti Pragya and Krishna Goswami said, no, Hankar Dev is not Bhagwan. Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagwan. Then they said, what evidence you have uh, that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagwan? Then there was actually a living encyclopedia with Srila Bhakti Pragyan Krishna Goswami. Right now we have laptops, Kindle, you know, iPad, Chromebook, whatever it is. That is our encyclopedia stored in that. But <coughs> there was a living encyclopedia in the form of Srila <coughs> Bhakti Pragyan. Srila Bhakti Dhanta Vaman Goswami Maharaj. He said, stand up. That time he was called Santosh, Sajjan Seva Brahmachari. But Param Gurudev never called him like Sajjan Seva, always called him Santosh. Santosh, stand up. Then he stood up, said, explain to them Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagwan. Oh, immediately like a flow of Ganges, Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj started glorifying uh, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. He quoted from Vishnu Sahasanam. Suvarana Varana Hemango Varanga Chandananga Di Sanyasa Krishna Monshanto Vishta Shanti Parayana from Bhagavatam Jatva Sudasta Sureb Siddharaja Lakshmim Sarvishthari Vatasaya Dagadaranyam Maya Mragam Daita Sivitan Vadhavat Vande Mahapurshati Charanaravindam Then from Bayu Purana and so many places is quoted how Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is the founder head of all incarnations. So, everyone was convinced. Whatever scriptural quotations Srila Vaman Goswami Maharaj uttered, Srila Gurudev noted down in his notebook and then he wrote a book uh, in Hindi and now it is also in English. Understand? So, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, I have no doubt that Chaitanya Mahaprabhu is Bhagavan. Uh, lot of people in India, they accept Krishna as a God but don't accept Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as God. Uh, but Srila Bhakti Rakshu Siddhar Maharaj says that if you have faith, that Gauranga is God, then you are a big gainer. Understand? Uh, not a large section of people, he says. A large section of people accepts uh, Krishna as God. Uh, Krishna as God. But uh, not a uh, large section accepts Chaitanya Mahaprabhu as God. But if you have faith in that, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's holy name, uh, then you will be make rapid progress. Srila Bhakti Rakhishita Maharaj says. So, this chapter stresses that a devotee who wishes to advance in Krishna consciousness must have knowledge of Krishna's personal form. His three principal energies, his pastimes and relationship of the living entities with him. We must have faith in Krishna's personal form. Krishna is a person. Uh, as much as we are persons, Krishna is also a person. Uh, and his three principal energies, like Samvit, Sandini, Ladini, Shakti, our uh, Chit Shakti and Bhairanga Shakti, uh, like this. Chit Shakti is spiritual potency. External potency is called Bhairanga Shakti, Maya Shakti, Jada Shakti, and also Tatatha Shakti, Jiva Shakti, living entities. These three potencies of Krishna, these are his principal energies. And the pastimes and the relationship of the living entities with him. Uh, we should know his pastimes also and our relationship with him. So we'll begin our discussion of this second chapter. Shri Kritsi Chaitanya Prabhu Mande Palo Vyadanugraha Tarin Nana Matagraha Japtam Siddhan Dasagaram Now he is offering pranams to Lord Shri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. Mande. Mande uh, means Aparabhata. Mande Yam. Shri Guru Shri Yuta Padakamalam Shri Guru Vaishnavamsa Shri Rupam Sagrajatam like this. Uh, one day, one day means offer obeisances. 
ವಂದೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಂದ ಕುಮಾರ ನಂದ ಕುಮಾರ ಮದನ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಮದನ ಗೋಪಾಲ ಮೋಹನ ರೂಪ ಮೋಹನ ರೂಪ ನಂದ ಕುಮಾರ ಜಯ ಜಯ ದೇವ ಹರಿ ಲೈಕ್ ಒಂದೇ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಅವರ ಬಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಒಂದೇ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ನಂದ ಕುಮಾರ ಅವರು ಬಸ್ ಸಿಸ್ಟ ಸನ್ ಆಫ್ ನಂದ ಮಹಾರಾಜ್ ಸೊ ವೆರಿ ವೆರಿ ಫೇಮಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ಲೈಕ್ ಇನ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ದಿಸ್ ಸಿಂಗ್ ದ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಆಂಥಮ್ ಈಸ್ ಜನಗಣಮನ ಅವರ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ಮೋರ್ ಪಾಪ್ಯುಲರ್ ಈಸ್ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ಒಂದೇ ಮಾತರ ಸುಜಲ ಸುಫಲ ಲೈಕ್ ದಿಸ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಸೈಂಗ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಗ್ಲೋರಿಫೈಂಗ್ ದ ಮದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಕ್ಚುಲಿ ದಿ ಪ್ರೇ ಟು ಶ್ರೀ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಹೂಸ್ ದ ಫಾದರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಲಿವಿಂಗ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಇಫ್ ಮದರ್ ಲ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಈಸ್ ದ ಎಕ್ಸ್ಟರ್ನಲ್ ಪೋಟೆನ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದ ಭೂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಬಟ್ ಹೂಸ್ ದ ಹಸ್ಬೆಂಡ್ ಆಫ್ ಭೂ ಶಕ್ತಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ದಟ್ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಮೆನ್ಷನ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಸೊ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಎಂಥೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ಇಂಡಿಯಾ ಲಿಟಲ್ ಬಿಟ್ ಮಾಡಿಫಿಕೇಶನ್ ರಿಕ್ವೈರ್ಡ್ ಟು ಇನ್ಕ್ಲೂಡ್ ದ ನೇಮ್ ಆಫ್ ರಾಮ್ ಆರ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಇನ್ ಇಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಇಟ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಮೋರ್ ಆಕ್ಸೆಪ್ಟೇಬಲ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಫಾದರ್ ಈಸ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಆರ್ ರಾಮ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ so bala and ignorant child person may be ignorant no harm uh, but if he the child he chant in the name of krishna chaitanya mahaprabhu or oh, he is very very intelligent uh, je krishna bhaje sevada chatur understand don't think that uh, those who are worshiping krishna are foolish sentimentalists don't think like that it's actually a great good fortune to chant the name of krishna understand so even an ignorant child also you see ಅಪಿ ಇವನ್ ಜತ್ ಅಪೋಮ್ ಅನುಗ್ರಹಾತ್ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ಮರ್ಸಿ ವರ್ಡ್ ಅನುಗ್ರಹ ಮೀನ್ಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಕೃಪಾ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ಕೃಪಾ ಆಫ್ ಚೈತನ್ಯ ಮಹಾಪ್ರಭು ವಿದೌಟ್ ಈಸ್ ಮರ್ಸಿ ವಿ ನೀಡ್ ದ ಮರ್ಸಿ ಆಫ್ ಗುರುದೇವ್ ಬಟ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ವಿ ಶುಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ಬಿ ಕೈಂಡ್ ಟು ಅದರ್ಸ್ ಸಪೋಸ್ ಸಮ್ಮನ್ ಕಮಿಟ್ ಆಫೆನ್ಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಕ್ರಿಟಿಸೈಸಸ್ ಯು ಆರ್ ಸಮ್ಮನ್ ಹರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಯು ಐ ಶುಡ್ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ದಟ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ Uh, means you are not showing mercy to that person then how will krishna show mercy to you so in order that krishna be merciful to you first you have to be merciful to others then only krishna will be merciful to you understand so if you receive the mercy of chaitanya mahaprabhu you can easily cross over various theories there are so many theories so many theories understand like uh, i think revati is there she told me from gana oh brahma kumaris <laughs> brahma kumaris <laughs> so one time i was admitted for weight loss <laughs> and never lost my lost my weight only picked up the weight now then the maharaj accepted put me in a naturopathic clinic in vijayawada for losing the weight and i lost the weight because it was good for me and there some brahma kumari mata ji was there so i told maharaj to speak to her and maharaj was head of the five minutes because she would not accept rama not accept krishna not accept everything so very very confused philosophy so that type of philosophy brahma kumari philosophy uh, or you know little bit you know maya philosophy or you know impersonality philosophy yoga vashishta shankara charya philosophy vaisheshik shankara charya sharik bhashya and all these are all like crocodiles actually uh, people get trapped in them and there's so many years in that understand i was so fortunate uh, that i came in touch with iskon and then to gurudev actually read bhakti dan sai maharaj books that was a turning point understand otherwise i was also devoured by these crocodiles and uh, actually the whole world the whole world is grateful to bhakti dan sai maharaj understand because he actually one he was the one who wrote the books in very simple language his language is so easy to understand and so many people became devotees by reading those books understand so one time shri gurudev told uh, nishchinte prabhu that original versions not making any changes in bhagavad gita as it is uh, then nishchinte prabhu in america told gurudev i have authority to print those books gurudev has printed them i am finance and gurudev financed the printing of the bhakti dan sai maharaj books original books 1976 versions not changed uh, you know 
what he wrote exactly as they are. So, this ocean of misconceptions, wrong theories, wrong philosophies, understand. So, if you want to cross this, uh, for my obeisance to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by his mercy, even an ignorant child can swim across the ocean of conclusions about the ultimate truth, which is full of the crocodiles of various theories. If you follow a wrong theory, your whole life is wasted. Understand? So, by the mercy of the Supreme Personality of Godhead, Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, even an inexperienced boy with no educational culture can be saved from the ocean of nations, which is the full of various types of philosophical doctrines that are like dangerous aquatic animals. Understand? Like there are many dangerous aquatic animals like sharks, crocodiles, uh, like the jellyfish, uh, like they are, you know, uh, they might devour you. Understand? They might devour you. So this philosophy is wrong philosophies and doctrines, they might devour you. But don't worry. If you surrender to Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, Guru Dev and Guru and Gauranga, oh no harm will come to you. Very easily you can cross this ocean. The philosophy of the Buddha. Buddham Saranam Gachami. Dhammam Saranam Gachami. Dhammam Saranam Gachami. This is Buddhist philosophy. I surrender to Buddha. Understand? Gautam Buddha. But Buddhist philosophy of Gautam Buddha is impersonality, voidism. Understand? So, especially Kumaril Bhatta and Shankaracharya do it far away from India. The argumentative presentation of the Ganis, the yoga system of Patanjali. Patanjali yoga is very popular. Baba Ramdev will show you how uh, expert he is in yoga actually. But Patanjali, if you read his Veda Yoga Sutra, then his aim and object is Vishnu Sahitya, merging in the body of Vishnu, which we don't want. Understand? So, Gautam Rishi's philosophy and all, Kanad. Kanad is talking about the atomic theory of creation, Kapil and Dattatreya. Dattatreya is Bhagwan. Dattatreya is Bhagwan. But his philosophy is actually uh, not correct. Uh. So by the grace of Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, one can have real understanding of the essence of knowledge by avoiding these sectarian views and accepting the lotus feet of Krishna as the ultimate goal of life. Mahaprabhu's philosophy is very simple. Accept the lotus feet of Krishna as the ultimate goal of life. Understand. That is the philosophy of Mahaprabhu. Only one line goes from your name. Bajahure mana Srinandanandana Abhaya Charanara Vindare. Yes. My dear mind, worship the lotus feet of Nandan Krishna, who gives complete freedom, comfort protection at his lotus feet. Don't worry, you may be anywhere, any part of the world, there is always a protection for you. Like Ambarish was protected by Sudarshan Chakra of Krishna, of Durvasa's wrath, like that you will be protected. So Mahaprabhu's philosophy is take shelter at the lotus feet of Krishna. Let us all worship Sri Chaitanya Mahaprabhu in his gracious mercy to the conditions. Mahaprabhu actually giving us Krishna Prem. That's why Mahavadanya. Namo Mahavadanya Krishna Prema Pradayate Krishna Krishna Chaitanya Namne Gaurat Namaha. Golden complexion Lord is giving the dynamo who gives Prem to everyone. Take it, take it. Uh, freely distributing that Prem, which is very rare. So now second verse. Krishna Kirtana Gana Naratana Kala Patho Jani Brajita Sadhakta Vali Hamsa Chakra Madhupa Shredi Viharas Padam Karnanandi Kaladhani Ruhatume Jiva Maru Prangane Chi Chaitanya Dayani De Mahaprabhu, what is he doing? Krishna, chanting the holy name of Krishna, Utkirtan, loudly. 
कृष्ण 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 कीर्तन राम राम कानरम्य दिव्य चंद नर्तन यत्र तत्र कृष्ण नम दान लोक निस्तर प्रेम धाम देव मेव नवमी गौर सुंदर सिंपली चैंटिंग कृष्ण 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 एंड डांसिंग एक्सटेटिकली दैट इज महाप्रभु अंडरस्टैंड is singing and dancing that is how his experience uh, exhibiting his love for krishna uh. so he is uh, told that oh my merciful lord chaitanya may the nectar and ganges water of your transcendental activities flow on the surface of the desert like my desert like tongue really speaking the tongue which is not glorifying krishna uh, is actually called desert like that dardur dardurak <laughs> dardurak i like that word dardurak uh, um actually um sai maharaj uh, bhagavatam uh, every day should read a very nice he has written uh, so here actually um, sai maharaj says uh, if you are not chanting the name of krishna uh, then you are tongue is like a frog actually frog star huh? in like in india uh, i seen also bangalore desert katta there are some lakes nearby so whenever night time i'm coming sometimes i used to go for fishing and coming at 11 o'clock sometimes even 12 o'clock and then i hear sound ron 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 of the frogs and uh, this frogs actually see the uh, the snake doesn't have very strong vision understand the snow cannot see very far uh, but he can hear and then he hears the croaking of the frogs he comes and devours me so those persons who don't chant the name of krishna they are actually inviting the snake of maya the kala kala sarpa to devour them come eat me like in hindi say aap bail mujhe maar they are inviting <laughs> they are inviting their own uh, uh, own annihilation their own destruction by not chanting krishna's name doing prajalp understand so we have to be very very careful hmm. that we don't talk nonsense always chant the name of krishna understand so our nectar but rather should be like fill of the nectar and ganges water ganga ganga is the uh, holiest river in india and the ganga where it meets the confluence where the ganga ends in the ocean understand or ganga and meets the ocean in ganga sagar and this is sari tirath bar bar ganga sagar ek bar sari tirath bar bar ganga sagar ek bar i was a child there was a movie was also made ganga sagar a very famous movie they said that all the holy places you visit again and again but only once in a life you visit ganga sagar because it is very difficult to reach ganga sagar now it has become little easy but that is the only place i have seen in india that you have to take three modes of transportation first you have to take from navadvip you are going to ganga sagar first you have to take a train uh, local train then a tour train then you have to take a bus uh, train you get on to the train then you take auto then from auto you have to take a boat from boat you have to take a bus these four modes of transportation i have seen is so even today also so uh, you know tiring to reach ganga sagar that's why they say well, at least once in life you go to ganga sagar not no need to go again and again but uh, someone is like in durban uh, like all of you uh, like this ganga mata ji and vishaka ji is in Durban, how they can go to Ganga Sagar? Understand? But uh, someone is in Gaya na, uh, like this. Uh, so someone is China and someone is in America or Russia. How they'll go to Ganga Sagar? Don't worry. You raise your hands like this and say Ganga, 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 calling out like this. You walk like ten steps towards the Ganga River. Oh, <laughs> you get the full benefit of bathing in Ganga at Ganga Sagar. Or you just say, raise your hands, say, Ganga Sagar, Ganga Sagar, Ganga Sagar, Ganga Sagar. Uh, immediately you get the benefit of 
living in Ganga Sagar. Uh, so therefore, this Ganga, Ganga, Gange, Piyo, Bruyat, Yo, Jananam, Shatairapi, Muchate, Sarva, Pape, Pyo, Vishnu, Lokam, Sagachati. If anyone will utter the Ganga, 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 then after death, we will go to the abode of Vishnu. Understand? We will go to Vaikuntha. No doubt about it. Such powerful rivers are in India, whose remembrance also purifies the living entities. That's why India is such a great land. There's the rivers like Ganga, Jamuna, Saraswati, Narmada, Sindhu, Kaveri, and Tungabhadra, Himarathi, Krishna, like this. So, Padma, um, great rivers. Padma is actually a tributary of Ganges. Padma, it flows in Bangladesh. Mahaprabhu performed many pastimes on the bank of Padma also. But now, unfortunately, uh, due to the India's division, it went to Bangladesh. So, Ganga is such a glorious river. Understand? So, Mahaprabhu's pastimes and activities are compared to the Ganges River. Let this Ganga of Mahaprabhu's pastimes, uh, you know, irrigate our desert like that. Beautifying these waters are the lotus flowers of singing, dancing, and loud chanting of Krishna's holy names. So, Mahabharata's pastimes are very beautiful. But any river, even Ganga or Jamuna, will not look very beautiful unless there are many lotus flowers are, uh, you know, uh, blooming. Uh, in English, actually, <laughs> I don't know any other word for lotus in English. The only one word, lotus. <laughs> but in Sanskrit, you know. <laughs> Really speaking, Sanskrit is such a uh, rich language. Huh? They say Kairava, Shreya Kairava, Chandrika Vitarana, Vidyavadu Jivana. Lotus, white lotus is called Kairava. Kumuda, understand? Kumuda. Kumuda means actually also Kumud and Kamal. Kamal blooms in the daytime. Understand when the sun rises, come on. But Pumuda blooms in the night time when the moon rises. So, there are different, different types of lotus also. Understand Padma. Padma is also means lotus. Kamalam, Nalinam, Arvindam, Utpalam, Indivaram. These are the names for the Indivaram means the blue lotus. Indivara, Shamala, Pumala, Ango, Naloki, Pushpadamsha, Pratama, Vatara. Krishna is generally compared to Indivara. Krishna is compared to the blue lotus, Indivara. Narinam, Arvindam. Arvindam also means lotus, understand. So this lotus is in the river of Mahaprabhu pastime. What are the lotus? Is dancing and singing. So like yesterday you saw, I don't know whether our he sang this song or not. But Ekadashida, you must sing. Shri Hari Vasare Hari Kirtana Vidana Nritya Arambila Prabhu Dada Tera Prana Punya Mantra Shri Vasa Angana Shubharanga Uthila Kirtana Dvani Gopala Govinda Oh, Mahabharata was dancing, extraterrestrial. Dancing, dancing, 24 hours dancing. Best of the dancers like Mahaprabhu and also Vakarishar Pandit. Hmm. Vakarishar Pandit. Vakarishar Pandit also used to tell Mahaprabhu, Mahaprabhu, give me 20 Gandharvas to beat the Mridanga. They call Mandal. Mandal is the big Mridanga. Dong, dong, dong. Uh, and then I will dance and dance. I might, I can dance days and days. Just give him. Nice move. Gandharvas, you can play Mridanga. Understand? Like Gurudev, Param Gurudev also used to dance. So the Gurudev used to say that Param Gurudev would never dance. Uh, generally speaking, he would not dance in Kirtan. But there were some devotees. One, de one name Gurudev mentioned that this devotee is singing and another devotee's name Gurudev mentioned that he is playing Mridanga. Param Gurudev used to dance like anything. Shila Bhakti Pragyati Because they were so good Mridanga players. Understand? So, this is Mahaprabhu's, uh, uh, you know, charity that he is making everyone dance. 
everyone is dance uh, radha rani is dancing krishna is dancing mahabhu is also dancing uh, so mm-hmm. because actually mahaprabhu is in the mood of radha rani uh, madhuvan mera dikha nache re giridhar ki muraliya baje re radha rani is dancing in madhuvan understand and krishna is playing the flute radharani is expert dancer uh, so mahaprabhu is also dancing like radharani gatyan gurunata gayendra lilam and three is also dancing in vrindavan three parts of the dancing so mahaprabhu is also dancing in made the whole world dance understand and then singing oh mahaprabhu is singing so sweetly gai pura madhur sware hare krishna hare krishna 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 hare 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 ram hare ram 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 hare hare gai pura madhur sware aap is singing sweetly grihe thak bane thak sadahari bole daga sukhe dukhe mul na go badne hari nam kor re gai pura madhur sware mam will be singing sweetly oh my dear friends stay in household life stay in the renounce life no harm uh, stay put in whatever ashram you are in don't change your ashram ya brahmachari bhi brahmachari bhi sanyasi ya sanyasi ya householder bhi householder don't change wives Uh, and chant hari naam you are not married no harm don't try to get married just chant hari naam understand like this mahaprabhu is telling and then he chanting the names of krishna how uh, danda uh, that is doing uh, which are the pleasure abodes of unalloyed devotees shuddha bhakta so we have to take that foot of the foot dust of such vaishnava unalloyed devotees Like yesterday we sang, Shuddha Bhakta Charana Renu Bhajana Nukula. Take the foot dust of the Guru Dev Shiva Dandi Maharaj, the Bharti Maharaj. Take the foot dust of such Vaishnavas. This will purify you. Understand? These devotees are compared to swans, ducks, and bees. Understand? Swans. Devotees are like swans, uh, Hansa, Paramahansa. श्रीमदा 
ಬುವಿಗ್ರಣಂತಿದೆ ಭೂರಿದ ಜನ ನಂದ ನಂದನ ಯಶದ ನಂದನ ಹೇ ದಾಮೋದರ ಹೇ ಶ್ರೀ ಮಾಧವ ತವ ಕಥಾಮೃತ ತಪ್ತ ಜೀವನ ಅಥರ್ಸ್ಟಿ ಮ್ಯಾನ್ ಗೆಟ್ಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಕೂಲ್ ಡ್ರಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ವಾಟರ್ ಹೌ ಮಚ್ ರಿಲೀಫ್ ಇನ್ ಫೀಲ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಮಚ್ ರಿಲೀಫ್ ಇನ್ ಫೀಲ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಇಯರ್ ಈ ಕಥಾ ಹೋಪ್ ಇಸ್ ಅಟೆರಿಂಗ್ ಲೈಕ್ ದಟ್ ಅಂಡರ್ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ so the transient pleasure derived from mundane topics of art culture politics sociology dry philosophy poetry and so on is compared to a mere drop of water what happiness can be there in this mundane topics of art and culture what is the point in studying them no pleasure very temporary pleasure will come understand mm. so la vidya ವಿಫಲ ಸೇವಿನ ಕೃಪಣ ದುರ್ಜನ ಚಪಲ ಸಹೋಲ ಆಗಿದೆ culture art politics sociology this is like a drop of water in the very hot desert mm. uh, like shri narayan baba ji is staying with me now he told me that there are indian soldiers they are guarding the pakistan border in jaisalmer and so many deserts area in rajasthan because india shares a very long border with pakistan and there may be many infiltrators who are trying to destabilize the indian government and disturb the sanatan dharma so there are actually many soldiers who are always guarding out there and he said marad dhan baba was telling me that it sand is so hot now 40 48 50 degrees temperature that they make rotis like this and like they just put it on the sand and after some time they pop up <laughs> then they turn it puff again no need of oven <laughs> just on the sand it's so hot out there so the guru they also used to say that in mathura previously has seen birds falling from the sky so hot uh, that birds are just they are hydrated and just drop like flowers or fruit from the sky dead understand so this is the material world desert 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 so despite crying in various conferences therefore the desert like tongue continues to be passed for this reason people from all parts of the world must call for the devotees of lord chaitanya mahaprabhu who are compared to swans swimming around the beautiful lotus feet of shri chaitanya mahaprabhu or bees humming around his lotus feet now devotees are like swans chila bhakti ballab tirtha ko shri maharaj tell the story <laughs> nice story he told that there were some swans who were flying to mansarovar mansarovar is one very wonderful lake in himalayas understand so they were going to mansarovar and they saw some ducks ducks were floating in the water swimming in the water dirty pond uh, and they they told the ducks the ducks asked the swans um, hey swans where are you flying they said we are going to mansarovar very far uh do you want to come with us that said well we can't fly so far <clears throat> we cannot fly at all like you how will you go to mansar the swan said you can climb our back uh, we will carry each one of us will carry one duck <clears throat> and let us go and enjoy in the clean bluish wonderful <clears throat> sweet water of the mansar river no contamination no pollution out there but then the ducks asked the question what will we eat there they said there will be so many lotuses are blooming in the mansarovar and you can eat the sweet sweet uh, petals and stems of the lotus understand i don't know whether you eat a lotus stem sabji <laughs> but i eat i must eat that because for so many years bengalis are cooking in the market uh, so bengalis are very expert in making so many sabjis uh, <coughs> they can make sabjis <coughs> like premanand prabhu <laughs> he can 
make sabji from uh, anything, pakoda from anything. You cannot imagine. They will make uh, arikuns, prem 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 prem. They will make pakoda from marigold flower, marigold flower, <laughs> jadu. <laughs> they make pakoda. They just put it in the uh, batter. What is that called? The chickpea flour batter, and this, and then fry it in oil. Pakoda. Uh, anything they make pakoda out of. Understand? So. Uh, So many types of pakoda, nice preparations that Raman Prabhu makes. Understand? So what I'm saying is that uh, everyone must call the so his songs. They were asked by ducks, what food will get there? And song says will get the strength of lotus, strength of the lotus. We read lotus and survive there, but song said no. Will we get snails to eat their snails uh, or insects? Then he said, "There are no snails, no insects. There is very clean water. No snails grow there." He said, "Then we don't want to come. Understand? Because these ducks were habituated to eating mud and uh, swans and insects, and the swans they are only attached to the flower lotus. So our thing is like that. We tell people, oh, please come to Hare Krishna Temple, Gauriya Mat. Please come and attend the program. They know they will go to the." They'll go to the cinema hall, uh, very dark place, and uh, they'll go there. They'll sit. The bed bugs are there, and stinking all the time. And in dark, they'll sit and watch movies, paying so much money for that. But they will not come to the very well lit Arigatta temple where they can see. And they're going to see a hero and heroine. But tell me which hero and which heroine, which actress, which actress. Uh, are more attractive than Radha Krishna. Can any Hollywood, Bollywood, Tollywood, Tollywood actress compare to Radha Rani? And can any Hollywood or Bollywood actor compare to Sri Krishna in his beauty? Uh, they are the most charming couple. Understand? Uh, so why waste human life? Why not join temple and chant Hare Krishna? So here it is told that. Swan said, "No, we don't get anything like snails there. We get lotuses, so the ducks get go there. So the dryness of material happiness cannot be moistened by so-called philosophers who cry for Brahma with liberation and similar dry spirituality. What is the use of Brahma, 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 chatting like this? What benefit will come? No benefit will come. Rather than Krishna, 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 chant like this." उसोल्ड Even a new devotee, even a very wretched devotee, poor person, poor devotee also superior than a Brahmagyan. Even some householder who is not sannyasi or Brahmagyan, but a householder, why are you cutting vegetables? Saying go in the damo darma daveti, go in the damo daram daveti. He is superior than this Brahmagyan. Understand? When chanting this high class. Mantra, Govind, the Dharma, the Ramara, it is so much superior. <clears throat> so, pray to our turn, my dear turn. Don't take this dirty desert. Get out of this dirty desert. Discussing mundane topics. Chant the names of Govind, the Dharma, the Ramara. Understand? The urge of the soul proper is different. The soul can be solaced only by the mercy of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu, and his many, many bona fide devotees who never leave the lotus feet of Lord to become imitation of Mahaprabhu, but all cling to his lotus feet like bees that never leave Hari soap lotus flower. We don't want to be God. Who wants to be God? We want to be more than God. Swami Maharaj says we want to be superior than God, not God. So many missions are there. They are telling that. 
become God. Come to us, join us, and we'll make you God. And then we said, no, in Gaudiya Math, we'll make you more than God. More than God. Become more than God. How? Mat Bhakta Pujya Vidika. Krishna is telling that I am worshipable. I am Krishna. But my devotees are more worshipable. You must pay more respect to Yashoda and Nanda Maharaj than Krishna. You must respect Arjuna and Uddhav more than Krishna. You should respect Prahlad more than Krishna. You must respect uh, Rupa Goswami more than Krishna. Understand? This is the power of Bhakti. Bhagwan becomes subservient to his devotees. Understand? That's why we don't want to be imitation God. But we want to be more than God. Understand? So, Lord Chaitanya's movement of Krishna consciousness is full of dancing and singing about the past times of Lord Krishna. This is the virtually Bhavanti Tatvarana Tadrasayana Katha Tadjoshna Dasho Opavarga Vartmani Shabdharati Bhakti Anakramashi. Kapil Dev also has told Devoti that Satam Prasangan Mama Birya Sambiro Srila Gurudev is speaking Harikatha, Kipa Dandi Maharaj is speaking Harikatha, and we are hearing Harikatha. That is association, Satam Prasangam. What will happen? You will understand the great glories of Krishna by their mouths. Bhavandivit Karana Rasayana Katha, and their Harikatha of Vaishnavas is, Gurudev is, nectar for the ears, nectar for the ears, and for the cooling for the heart. Such great comforting Harikatha, sweet, sweet Harikatha. Blissful Harikatha. Bhavandirat Karana Sahakata. Jushtat Asa Apavarga Varga. Apavarga. Apavarga. What is Apavarga? Ho, 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 ho. Ho, 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 ho. Ho, Prabhu. We are always defeated in this mode of world. Prabhu. Ho, Bhaya. Fearful. People are afraid. They are so scared now in the material world. What will happen next? What will happen next? Don't worry. Don't worry. Bhayam Tritya Vinivishitasya. Due to the identification with the body, fear is coming. Identify that I am part and parcel of Krishna. I am servant of the Krishna. Patina Thakur says that Krishna bolve jave pulakhave dhurvya ki dhuritai Radha Krishna bol bol bolare shabai. Radha Krishna bolve pulakhave dhurvya ki Say Radha Krishna, 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 Hare Krishna. Tears will come from the eyes. No fear will be there. Understand? Krishna is giving protection. Fear will vanish. Understand? Ho, ho, ho. Mo, mrityu. Mai bhakti re bhutana ma mrtatvaya galpatya tikshtaya dasya bhaksneo bhavadina padavana. Krishna is telling, Mai bhakti re bhutana ma mrtatvaya galpatya. My bhakti bestows liberation, immortality, transcendental immortality on the living entities. Don't be afraid of death. So, this power, bravo. So, like the pain, pain, you know, what is pain? Foam. Foam is coming from the mouth. There are some people like work so hard, the foam is coming from mouth. Generally, foam is coming from the mouth of the oxen. In India, they like sometimes make them overwork, which is actually atrocious in human. Uh, foam comes from the mouths of these poor oxen, actually. I have seen many times the sugar industry is so, so notorious. Sugar, 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 sugar. Understand? And then they cut uh, so much sugar cane and they load it in the ox cart. And you know, these poor oxen, they have to pull this huge, huge sugar. Sugar cane on their backs, understand? Uh, sometimes there's elevation, they cannot poor souls, cannot even uh, cannot even climb, you know, understand? So foam comes from their mouth. This material world will make you work so hard, foam will come from your mouth. I have seen many times donkeys, horses, oxen being overworked, they are foaming from their mouth. This paw, pena, understand? Material world means pena, foam. Foaming from the mouth due to hard work. But don't worry. Uh, if you chant the name of Krishna, hear Arikatha, follow Ekadashi, then you 
will be liberated from this Upavarga uh, and you will go to the path of Upavarga. Then Shraddha will come, Nishtha, Ruchi, Asakti, Bhava, Prem will come. Understand? So, the enjoyers of these lotus flowers are the pure devotees who are like bees and swans. They chant like the flowing of the Ganges, the river of the celestial kingdom, the Ganga. The author desires such sweetly flowing waves to cover his time. The Ganga is such a great river, and the devotees, Harikatha, their Kirtan uh, is like. Uh, like Ganga, purifying everyone. Understand? If you hear the Kirtan of Vaishnavas, when they are singing sweetly the glories of Sri Krishna, uh, then everyone is purified by hearing that Kirtan. So he humbly compares himself to materialistic persons who are always, who are always engaged in dry talk uh, from which they derive no satisfaction. If they were to use their dry tongues to chant the holy name of the Lord, Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Ram, Hare Ram, Ram Ram, Hare Hare, as exemplified by Lord Chaitanya, they would taste sweet nectar in their life. Understand? This Mahamantra will deliver you. Understand? Uh, don't worry. If you don't know anything, even if you don't have much higher education, you are not born in a very exalted family. No harm. You are not very beautiful, not very popular, not very good singer, no harm. These qualities are not important. More important is the uh, attachment to the holy name. Understand? Attachment to the holy name. One who is chanting the holy name naturally looks beautiful. I find devotees very attractive. Karmis, I don't find them attractive. Understand? But I am naturally attracted to the devotees. Understand, their faces are glowing because of their bhakti. Understand, because of their bhakti, the devotees are looking like uh, associates of Lord Krishna, like Gopas and Gopis, like Kuntha, Mother Vrindavan. Understand, the devotees are very, very charming, naturally, because of their mood of surrender, very beautiful. That's why they chant Hare Krishna Mahamantra. Your face will glow like anything. Understand? And I see the devotees' faces, even new devotees, they start glowing. Uh, one time Swami Maharaj told one British, uh, one uh, Christian father that, uh, what do you think of our students? And he said, I don't know really what we are teaching them, but I can see that their faces look very bright. Very bright. He accepted. His Western devotees' faces looking very, very bright. I can see that they are doing something that is making their faces bright. And then so Sai Maharaj told that this is the power of the Hare Krishna Mantra. They told Sai Maharaj that don't chant this Hare Krishna Mantra loudly. Mantra should be chanted in the mind, otherwise the power will decrease. Sai Maharaj said, no, no. We must chant Hare Krishna Mantra loudly. It is not a confidential mantra. It is a public mantra for everyone. And we see that the power is not decreasing. It is increasing and increasing and increasing. Now with the whole San Francisco, Los Angeles, Canada, Australia, America, England, this Hare Krishna Mahantra is chanted Japan all over the world and the power is increasing more and more and more. Param Vijay Tejshti Krishna Kirtanam. Understand? So that's why you should also do Nagar Kirtan. At, if not possible, Nagar, at home we should do Kirtan. Alone we should do Kirtan. Nothing else should come on our time. Only this Mahamantra should come. Jai Vashachanam Gaurari ki, Shri Gurudev ki, Shri Bhaktidanda Dandi Dandi Maharaj ji ki jai, Namnishta Santa Shandhudas Prabhu ki jai, Amishna Bhaar Paramahan Supreme Radhika Acharya Varesh Kanta Shri Bhaktidanda Narayan Mishra Maharaj ki jai. So I will end my class here. If you have any questions, you can send me by email, telegram, whatsapp, whatever it is, or facebook, and I will try to answer to the best of my knowledge. Understand. Hare Krishna. I am also available on Telegram. Um, you can voice call or message. I am available. Understand. The other day I saw one meeting on, on Telegram channel that was uh, some other group, other spiritual group in India. Uh, 400 members.
discussing reading Bhagavad Gita. Yesterday was Ekadesh. In the Telegram group, 400 members were uh, reading, Harika, reading Bhagavad Gita. That's what it's in Bhagavad Gita. 400 on Telegram. Very powerful platform, I think. Uh, 400 people. And um, one Mataji was reciting the sloka and others were listening. Understand? Um, now, there are different ways Harika is broadcast. Facebook Live and Telegram and Google Meet. Like so I cannot say this way is better, that is better. Whatever helps us, Discord, no hard, there are so many platforms. But this is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu Seva. That we should preach the Haritatha of Shri Gurudev, read the books of Shri Bhaktivedanta Sai Maharaj, Shri Gurudev, and be happy. Manchakar Patravesh, Shakrupa, Sindhu Vecha, Pritana, Pavane, Pavashna, all grace to Shri Vrindam Das Thakur, Chaitanya Bhagavat, Vyasa, Hare Krishna. Thank you. Anangman Prabhu Jayadhani, please give. Hare Krishna. Sorry, Anangman. Sorry, Maharaj, can you please tell me where you stopped? We stopped actually now. Verse number 3 will begin next time. Verse number 3 of the second chapter. Jay Jay Shri Krishna Chaitanya, Jay Nityananda, Jay Advaita Chandra Jaya, Gaur Bhakta Vrata. This one... I think this verse is common to all the chapters in Chaitanya Charitamrita, if I am not wrong. This is like uh, Panchatattva's glorification, and this is in every chapter. So third chapter, third verse is Jaya Jaya Shri Chaitanya, Jaya Nityananda, Jaya Dvaita Chandra Jaya, Gaura Bhakta Purinda. This is the mantra. Because in Iskon, they were chanting, they asked Gurudev that we chant, before we start our japa, he chant Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Shri Advaita Gadadhar Shri Vasari Gora Bhakta Vrinda. Then he said, Gurudev said, No, you should not say Bhaja Shri Krishna Chaitanya. You should say Jai Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda. That is better because Bhaja, you are not on the stage of Bhajan yet. <laughs> Your Bhajan has not begun, so you should say Jai. Hey, something like that, I remember. Understand? So, third, uh, next time, Bangladesh will start from this third verse, okay? Hare Krishna. Okay, Marsh. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Then. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Maharaj. Hare Krishna. And then the bad. I'm happy that you remember me and Guyana. But if someone yeah, has yeah. to flee, you, dance, yeah. want to dance, the Krishna, uh, dance the the. To meet Chaitanya Prabhu, what you have to do? Actually, to dance is natural, it comes. Because uh, in the spiritual world, there is no walking, there is only dancing, there is no talking in the spiritual world, they are only singing. Understand? So, Katha Dhanam Natam Gamanam Vamshi Priyasaki, Chidanam Jyoti Param Aswadam Abhicha, Satrak Shirabdi Savati, Survisha Sumahan. So that is a Shweta Deepa, description of Shweta Deepa, the White Island or Gola Purindavan, which is given in Brahma Samhita. It said that no one speaks there, like we are talking in prose. It's all poetry. And um, there is no one is walking like this, like proper walking. But they are dancing. So that's, that's actually a very, very mysterious place, understand. We get some information from Brahma Samhita and other scriptures, what happens in Gola Purindavan. But you see that uh, they are, uh, when Radha Krishna are conversing, um, you see that they don't try so much in prose, understand? Like Radharani was uh, asking Krishna. Krishna was once knocking at the door of Radharani. Um, and then Krishna asked in poetry, Koyam Dwari, Radharani is asking, Koyam Dwari, who is at the gate? Who is at the door? Koyam Dwari Hari Prayapavanam Shakha Mrakasya Trakim Krishna is telling, I am Hari. I am Hari. And the other one took the another meaning of the word Hari. Hari meaning she took a Shakha Mrakasya, monkey. Then she says, Oh, I, I don't want monkeys in my house. They are very naughty. Uh, then Krishna said, Oh, she is too smart. She is taking the wrong meaning of the word Hari. Okay, then Krishna tried again. Uh, Krishnoham, I am a, I am Krishna. Krishna told Krishnoham, this is poetry. Krishnoham, oh, Radha, he said, Ive Misutaram, Krishna, the Hovanarat, in 
India there are red faced monkeys, they are smaller, but black faced monkeys are even bigger. Rana Di said, if you are a black monkey, uh, like a bandar, as they call him, you know, uh, langur. If you are a langur, I am more afraid of langur than the red monkeys. <laughs> mm -hmm. oh, smart, smart girl. <laughs> Uh, so this all singing there, they're all singing, singing. Uh, like rather than studying Krishna. Uh, so like this singing is there, dancing is there, understand. So it's a natural thing. And then people are happy there is also dancing. You see in India, in marriage ceremony or any ceremony, they dance. In case that is actually because this material world is a perverted reflection of the spiritual world. Unless there is singing and dancing there, how can it manifest in this material platform? But here they are dancing for sense gratification. They are going to discotheques, uh, clubs, nightclubs, pay money and dance there. But we tell you, come to Hare Krishna temple, uh, the mood of dancing here is like brothers and sisters are dancing. Uh, not boyfriend and girlfriend, but brothers and sisters are dancing. In glorification of our Supreme Lord Shri Krishna. The mood is different. Mm -hmm. The mood here is to please Krishna. The gopis are dancing to uh, to satisfy Krishna. Understand? So Krishna will be happy. Understand? Like Balram came uh, to Vrindavan. Krishna was not there. Krishna had gone to Dwarka and gopis were feeling separation. So Balram entered in them by dancing and singing with them. So gopis felt some relief from their separation of Krishna. Because they, uh, they saw Balram and singing and dancing. Understand? So to give com comfort to the hearts of the gopis who were feeling separation from Krishna, Balram did Rasa dance. But he never danced with the gopis of Krishna. He cannot, he never, never had that mood. Because they are, uh, the gopis of Krishna know Balram is never and never doing with them. But he has his own set of gopis, he is doing Rasa with them. Understand? You should understand. So the Rasa means dancing. Spiritual world is original dance is Rasa Buddha. Understand? So Radha Krishna, they are uh, Radha Rani, Chandravali, and uh, hundred, uh, one billion, more than one billion gopis were dancing. And Krishna was dancing so fast, Alata Chakra, like uh, you take one burning incense stick and you revolve it like this. It appears like a red circle. Like that, Krishna was dancing so fast. This, mm -hmm. that. Every gopi thought that he is dancing with me only. But Krishna was not many. Krishna had not expanded him to, into one billion forms. He actually was dancing where every gopi felt that he is dancing with me. So Krishna is that opulence Krishna manifested in that past time. That is, and the devotees when they dance, they dance in the mood of Gaur Nitya and the Prabhu. Who always to dance, understand? Uh, so we should always try to follow in the footsteps of Chaitanya Mahaprabhu. And Hari Bhakti Vilas also did explain that to those who raise their hands and dance in front of the deities, the Maya will not touch them. Understand? So dancing before the deities, Maya runs away. Understand? So very, very important to dance. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. All right. Thank you. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Shishi Guru Gauranga Dharga Giri Dari Radha Vinod Dharji Ki Che Nithile Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shrimad Bhakti Vinod Dharji Ki Che Nithile Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shrimad Bhakti Vinod Dharji Ki Che Nithile Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shrimad Bhakti Vinod Dharji Ki Che Nithile Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Nitila Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shada Shishimar Bhakti Vinod Bhamma Gosain Ki Che Nitila Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shada Shishimar Bhakti Vinod Swami Maharaj Ki Che Nitila Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shada Shishimar Bhakti Prajan Keshava Gosain Maharaj Ki Che Nitila Pravishtam Vishnu Parastotar Shada Shishimar Bhakti Siddhanta Saraswati Gosain Prabhupad Ki Che Nitila Pravishtam Parma Bhagavar Prabhara Shishimar Gorikhi Sohadam Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Che Nitila Pravishtam Shila Sachi Dananda Bhakti Vinod Thakur Ki Che Nitile Pravishta Vishnava Sarva Bhumashi Jagannatha Baba Ji Maharaj Ki Shri Gaudiya Vedanta Achara Shri Shri Baladeya Vidya Bhushan Prabhu Ki Jai Shri Shri Vishwana Chakravi Thakur Ki Jai Shri Shri Nidham Shri Vashamana Prabhu Thraya Ki Jai Shri Krishna Das Kaviraj Goswami Prabhu Ki Jai 
Shri Rupa Sanatana Bhata Raghunasi Jiva Gopal Bhadanta Vinod Sakta Santavu Ki Jai Shri Sarup Damodai Rai Raman Dari Sri Gora Prasad Binda Ki Jai Namachaya Shri Haridas Thakur Ki Jai Pantapur Shri Krishna Chaitanya Prabhu Nityananda Ki Jai Shri Vitadara Shiva Sati Gora Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Shri Antadvi Mayapur Simandvi Godmudvi Madhya Deep Kola Deep Ritu Deep Janu Deep Modra Dhum Deep Duda Deep Patmakashi Navadi Dham Ki Jai Shri Shri Radha Krishna Gopa Gopi Go Govar Dandavada Shumukhi Bhakti Vajamandar Ki Jai Shri Radha Kun Shama Kun Ganga Yumuna Trasi Bhakti Devi Ki Jai Shri Mati Vrinda Devi Ki Jai Shri Pona Masi Yoga Mahi Ki Jai Shri Gopi Vajam Devi Ki Jai Shri Jagana Balde Subhadra Sudhansan Chakra Ji Ki Jai Shri Sheta Mandar Ki Jai Sarva Vigna Vinashikari Shri Narshima Devi Ki Jai Bhakta Pravara Shri Prahalad Maharaj Ki Jai Chara Dham Ki Jai Chara Sampradaya Ki Jai Chara Charya Ki Jai Akar Maharaj Shri Chaitya Namati Ki Jai Shri Shri Keshiba Ji Gyodhya Mahat Ota Tukama Samoa Ki Jai Prantara Shri Mad Bhagavatam Ki Jai Shri Chaitya Chaitya Amrit Ki Jai Shri Hari Nam Sankirtan Ki Jai Ananta Koti Vaishnava Vinda Ki Jai Sama Gada Bhakta Vinda Ki Jai Nitaan Gaur Prema Hari Hari Bhu Hari Bhu Hari Bhu Hari Bhu Hari Bhu So small announcement that on the 4th of June there will be Vyasa Puja of Shri Padaldi Maharaj and in your country uh, if you are uh, having a picture of Shri Padaldi Maharaj then make a flower garland uh, offer it to him and uh, sing the song Chi Guru Charana Padma Kevala Bhakti Sadma Vandu Mui Savadana Mate Jahara Prasadi Bhai So this song should be sung and some simple khichadi, prasadam or whatever you can afford that prashadam should be distributed, offer it to Krishna, Guru Varga and Vaishnavas and Shri Padandi Maharaj and that prashadam should be distributed. So in whatever country you are, please celebrate it because uh, Appearance Day and the Disappearance Day of Vaishnavas. Uh, so Appearance Day, if you remember the Vaishnavas, it purifies us. So like we are remembering Shri Vrindavanda Thakur today uh, because of uh, his Appearance Day. So like that, on 4th of uh, uh, June, you should also remember Shri Pada Dandi Maharaj, understand. Uh, but actually, there is a very elaborate process for doing Vyasa Puja. There are seven Panchakas like Vyasa Pancha, Kumar Pancha, Guru Pancha, Upasa Pancha. Like there are many Panchakas are there. Um, but uh, if you are not uh, so familiar with this technical it is uh, no harm. You can offer flowers and do Guru Puja uh, to Guru Varga and uh, do some uh, offer Prashat to Krishna and Guru Dev. Honor that prasadam and do Harinam Sankirtan. That is more than enough. Uh, because uh, we are indebted to our Guru Maharaj. Uh, so we should always uh, honor his appearance, day, disappearance, day, everything, all the festivals, we should honor them. Like we, of, we honor the appearance day and disappearance day of our Guru Dev. And Srila Bhakti Siddhan Sarasim Prabhupada, Srila Bhakti Prajyan, Krishna Goswami Maharaj, Srila Bhakti Dan Sai Maharaj. So we cannot uh, repay our Guru Maharaj, but we can. At least worship him and remember him. Uh, that that is uh, very good for our own purification. Hare Krishna. Anchada Padavish. Kupati Vita Vitana Pari Krishna. Send out, sir. Thank you so much. See you next week. Okay? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. <coughs> Hare Krishna, Maharaj. Dandavat Params. Maharaj. Send out, sir. Thank on you. that day, uh, on 4th June. Gurudev comes comes uh, live on our program. Now, what must we do? What must we do absolutely. when he comes? Can we offer arti for him? Or? Yeah, offer you can arti to him uh, on your uh, screen. No harm. And also, you'll be able to see the festivities live on Facebook Live or whatever platform it is, you know. It'll be really nice. Uttam Prabhu, Damodar Prabhu. Yeah, I'll also be there, so I'll try to... Uh, Broadcast it, but there will be arrangement will be made to broadcast, and you can look at the there will be Abhishek to his lotus feet as last year it was done, and the Charanamud was distributed to everyone. But mentally, also, you can remember, uh, remembering that is very, very good. Huh? Understand. And, uh, no, leader, Maharaj, what I'm trying, what I'm telling Maharaj, Haribo, what I'm trying to tell you, uh, Maharaj, on that day, on that Saturday, we have our class with, with Guru Dev. Now, when he comes on, on our class, can we physically do a arti for him? We are allowed that. That's what I'm asking. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, no problem. After his class, you can tell him, Maharaj, we are doing some arti for you. You can request him, understand. Uh, hmm. 
and if there is not possible in online class then you can uh, offer it as picture before class or after class that is also okay because picture the guru is present in the picture uh, because when we make offering actually it is made to the picture of the guru dev so picture is also non different from guru dev and guru also he wherever there is a picture guru is there so means like wherever krishna's picture is there krishna is there so like guru is also like that he is omnipresent uh, and he can manifest in so many places at the same time and he can accept the prasadam offerings uh, given by the vaishnavas understand so you can uh, try to understand uh, what the preparation is very dear to kripa dandi maharaj and try to make it at home and offer it to him that also fine understand obviously he will not take himself he will first offer it to krishna and then he will honor to our gurudev and then he will honor their remnants understand so he will do that but you should try to find out what preparation is like the lights or you know yamuna riti would know because she is our maharaj and uttam prabhu would know who is cooking for maharaj and so like that so try to uh, do puja uh, if, if not pass in the live class then you can do with a picture huh? before or after huh? at home with the friends and family members understand and try to distribute some prasad on that day huh? Maharaj Maharaj likes cucumber sabji. <laughs> cucumber sabji uh, likes that's his best. Uh, yes, then you please yeah. please make that <laughs> because he's he is accepting that through the picture. Uh, mm. He is accepting okay. that through the picture. That is uh, very very important because uh, every Vaishnava has some liking. Uh, see the the thing is that you have to satisfy the Vaishnava by your prasadam skills. i will tell you an example that there was an ekadashi day and one maharaj he was uh, went to chetanya gaudiyamats uh, branch in hyderabad and his name i forgot he was a disciple of shila bhakti siddhanta saraswati prabhupad i think his name was bhakti aranya maharaj aranya maharaj so aranya maharaj went to chetanya gaudiyamats branch and there brahmacharya had cooked ekadashi preparations uh, but he had not he had made all the preparations very hard like ground nuts these that and there was nothing for maharaj because maharaj had no teeth so maharaj called that brahmachari who had cooked so many preparations ekadashi preparations then he twisted his ear very nicely and he said charva chushyaleya peya rasamaya prasadanna krishna ra ati swadu hoya there are four types of food stuffs you must cook for krishna charva means the something that is to be chewed like ground nuts chushya Like a mango, it should be sucked. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, so, charva chushya leya. Leya means something that should be licked, and something that should be drunk. Peya. So, if those have no teeth, then for them, some peya should be there. Understand? Peya means something drinking. Some liquid thing should be there, so they can just drink it. Understand? So, like that. So, making something uh, which is satisfy the Vaishnavas. That is also an art. Ah, uh, that should make prasad the Vishnu satisfied. Then he said that Maharashtra or any Maharashtra that Brahmacharya that you have committed a mistake and offence because you made prasadam only for some one section of the devotee. You did not consider the old devotee. Understand? That's a mistake. He twisted his ear like that. Huh? So we should try to be very diligent in cooking what we cook for Guru Varga and what is there that is satisfied. Understand? Hare. Hare Krishna Maharaj, Dhanu Bhat Rams. Thank you so much. Ah, Dhanu Bhat. Maharaj, I'll also send. Sorry, I'll also send you the link um, for next week Saturday's program, which Guru Dev will be on. You can join if you dare. Oh, I'll be Google Live, huh? Okay, okay. Yes, Guru Dev comes every right. Saturday. Tomorrow as well, Guru Dev will come. Oh, wonderful, 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 wonderful. Yes, but we're so yeah, scared, uh, Maharaj. There are. Um, links uh, one thing about you know i saw that mohan ramaswami who is living in singapore mohan prabhu he has a zoom for permanent link he doesn't change that link that is yes, 24 sir. hour that is the only single link he has i don't know there are different different platforms at different different standards but his link is permanent link maybe it's a paid paid platform or something you know but anyways that is the link is permanent means i never have to worry which link you know that's it It is the same link all the time. 
Devadharma class. Okay, Maharaj, no problem. With Google Meet as well, I've seen that we can keep the same link. So I think going forward now, I will keep the same uh, link. But I can't, so that, uh, unfortunately, can't change Google Meet because Gurudev instructed me not to use Zoom as he doesn't find it comfortable. So Gurudev actually yeah. taught me how to use Google Meet and that's how I use uh, it now. So I, so from next, so not tomorrow. So for uh, your classes, Monday and Friday, we'll use the same link then. And yeah, we, on Friday, are, uh, Saturday classes. Not to worry about anything. Uh, they are not worried about, uh, we are always there. We just give them a schedule that you tune to this link and uh, we have these classes. Okay. It will be easier. Right? Consistency. Yeah. No problem. Right, Didi? Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna. Thank you, Mahaj. Thank Hare you Krishna. so much for your Hare wonderful Hare seva. Hare. You're taking so much hard effort to arrange these online classes. Thank you so much. Hare Krishna. Thank Hare you Hare. to you, Mahaj, for always guiding and being there for all of us, actually, because I know it's different time zones for devotees, but we all try to make it because it's you and Guru they are coming on. So thank you so much for giving us your time and your busy schedule. Okay. Hare Marge, also, while we at it, and I know we got like five more months, in uh. Karthik, I'm not sure how busy your schedule is, so I'd rather tell you early and ask you, um, normally Ananga Mohan Prabhu and Braj Kishore and myself, and other devotees that are available, um, we come on every day at the same time and we read the Karthik book and Srimad Bhagavatam 10th canto, Agenda and then um, Madhya Yashoda's uh, pastimes. But Maharaj, if possible this year for Karthik, I know I'm asking you early, but you can see your schedule and let me know. Then maybe we can. You can also join us like every day, and we can read and you can discuss with us. And sure, sure. Actually, after. you let me know the schedule. I will uh, listen to you. Sometimes I'll speak also, because uh, um, it is very good to hear Bhagavata. Understand? I I like to hear Bhagavata. Mitam Bhagavata Seva. I was reading yesterday the glories of uh, Bhagavata uh, and uh, how. Glorious that scripture is. Uh, it was actually from uh, Shila Gurudev's uh, old uh, Bhagavad Patrika. You know, in uh, Shila Gurudev used to publish uh, Bhagavad Patrika in Hindi magazine. And that one actually, one day I'll read the glories of Bhagavatam. And Bhagavatam is so glorious. Especially Ekadashi day, must, must read Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita, Vishnu Sahasranam, and Harinam. This must go on. Bhagavatam, Nityam Bhagavatam. Janvir Prabhu also told me that if you want to absorb your mind in the uh, holy name of Krishna, you must study Bhagavatam. So Bhagavatam is very, very important scripture. Uh, and I also uh, read at least one verse of Bhagavad Gita, Bhagavatam, Bhagavad Gita and Bhagavatam every day. Understand? So you should study Bhagavatam very diligently. Like uh, Sanadam Goswami, when he resigned from his job, he was studying Bhagavatam with all many pandits. Gopal Bhatta Goswami, Srinivas Acharya studied Bhagavatam under Sri Jiva Goswami Pad. Understand? And there was actually one devotee by the name Raghunath Bhatta, Raghunath, Raghunath Bhagavata Acharya. He was blessed by Chaitanya Mahaprabhu and he wrote a Bengali version of Bhagavatam. A very sweet Bhagavatam. A Bengali version. And it is called uh, Krishna Prema Tarangini. Uh, very sweet and we can discuss also. So, but no problem, we can read every day. Please don't uh, give it up, always care. Sometimes also come and I will also read for you and also explain uh, uh, Bhagavatam and also uh, sometimes and also discuss that. You know. uh, because I don't mind actually even daily giving a half an hour class on Bhagavatam. Uh, like, because Bhagavatam is an ocean. Unlimited ocean. There is no end, fathomless ocean of pastimes, commentaries, of acharya, discussion. A discussion by Gurudev said that Bhagavatam whole life you can finish. Even, uh, even uh, you see Ananta Shesh, uh, Nityananda Prabhu, Ananta Shesh has uh, millions of mouths. 
in each mouth he has two tongues and from eternity he is trying to glorify bhagavatam and krishna and uh, he is tired and uh, home is coming up saliva is falling from the mouth of ananda shesh while glorifying krishna's names and his past times he doesn't even wipe that saliva let it fall and keeps on glorifying but he is he finds even ananda shesh with thousands of waves cannot glorify bhagavatam and the holy name wow we with one small mouth kajuga jeeva what bhagavatam we can read but we should try whatever we can and uh, immerse your mind in bhagavatam nityam bhagavata seva very very important scripture uh, no doubt you are reading it your glorious rasa right, vrindavana thakur he says i offer pranam chaitanya charitam also krishna swaram ko samasta de i offer pranam to the listeners of bhagavatam and chaitanya charitam those are listeners Those are listening to this Chaitanya Charitamrut. Those are reading this Chaitanya Charitamrut. I offer them pranam. Uh, future generations of devotees will be reading Chaitanya Charitamrut. He has in advance. He has offered pranams. Krishna uh, Askaraj Goswami to those listeners also, because these are not ordinary topics. Understand? Those who are like crows, they are very fond of eating the bitter neem neem uh, neem fruit. But those who are like cuckoo like devotees. uh poor like devotees they want to eat the soft tender uh, sprouts of the uh, mango tree understand so those who want to hear chatra mahaprabhu sweet past times they are very not ordinary persons understand krishna's past times they are not ordinary persons uh nityam bhagavata sevaya nimnaranam yatha ganda devanam achyudasa vishnamanam tashyam pranam yudasa just like the ganges is the best river uh, like that Uh, best scripture is bhagavatam just like vishnava's best vaishnava is shiva best worshipable lord is achyuta shri krishna so bhagavatam is also the supreme purana purana mamalam prema pamartho mahan artho yam brahma sutraana bharatartha niranaya gayatri bhashya rupa so vedartha par brahmita so flawless commentary on gayatri mantra commentary on vedan sutra A wonderful explanation is there why not read bhagavatam read it in your own language no harm I will also come sometime. Okay. Hare. Thank you, Maharaj. Thank you so much, Vidhan. Hare. 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 Hare.